Every year when I come back to school for the first time in months, I don't remember a thing, and I know I'm not alone. In fact, most students have this problem, and with the majority of students suffering from summer learning loss, teachers have to spend weeks reviewing last year's material, using time that could be spent learning new things. Luckily, we have a solution, year-round school. It may sound scary at first, but this would solve so many problems. Summer learning loss, wasted review time, the inefficient use of school space, and even student and teacher burnout. Also, while teachers would still get several weeks off, they could be paid to tutor students during these off weeks and even administer tests such as STAR. A year-round school would revolutionize education for the better. But what exactly is year-round school? Well, year-round school isn't really year-round. According to the California Department of Education, in a year-round school option, the 60-20 plan, students have 60 days of school followed by 20 days of vacation. In another option, the 45-15 plan, students have 45 days of school followed by 15 days of vacation. Uh, lastly, in the 90-30 plan, students have 90 days of school followed by 30 days of vacation. Uh, within these plans, districts must decide whether they want to go with the single track or the multi-track. The single track is where all students and staff members are on vacation at the same time. The multi-track is usually used in larger schools and divides the student body into four to five groups and rotates them between school and vacation. Uh, for example, if a school was on the 45-15 plan and they had divided the student body into four groups, at all times three groups would be at school and one group would be on vacation. This even helps prevent overcrowding at larger schools. Uh, but what proof do we have that year-round school actually works? Well, several schools throughout the country have released reports after adopting the year-round school program. According to Natalie Setchison, after Roberta Bondar Public School tried year-round school, there was a 20% increase in their math, reading, and writing scores. According to Stephen McMullen and Catherine e. Rouse, schools in Wake County, North Carolina, also had significantly higher math and reading averages after trying year-round school. Uh, research in general have all pointed to uh, academic achievement, student benefits, and even the positive attitude of students, teachers, and parents after trying year-round school. Uh, but as many problems as year-round school solve, there have, been, there have been many arguments against it. First of all, it's much more um, expensive than the traditional method we use now because of uh, air conditioning and transportation costs. Second of all, many argue that academics would actually suffer because of year-round school um, because smaller breaks might prove to be an interruption for the students. But I, I don't think these smaller breaks would really be as much of an interruption as a long summer break. Um, finally, many argue that year-round school would actually cause student burnout because students wouldn't get the big two and a half months break we're used to. But in my experience, we actually get burned out by being in school for months at a time with no break other than weekends. So why haven't we embraced this program? It might be because when kids think you're on school, they picture piles of books, uh, tons of homework, and no break whatsoever. But in reality, a year on school would allow for more frequent breaks and would solve the problem of summer learning loss. So if over 3,000 schools over the country are doing it, why shouldn't we? Thank you.